Alright, so obviously the world's been a bit mad recently, considering this whole lockdown stuff going on. But I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's in a position where they're comfortable, they're not worried about anything. And as for family, I hope everything's going fine and nobody's suffering with anything. So I just wanted to make this video to talk about some of the things that I've been doing during lockdown, some of the things that have helped me. Because I'm not the kind of person in general that tends to get bored. I mean, the way I see it, especially during these times, if you're in a position where your your biggest problem is the fact that you're bored, then you're actually doing no bad. I mean, it could be worse, you could be sitting a bit worried, something bad could be going on around about you. Because sometimes when you're thinking about being bored, that's usually you setting up a problem with you actually being bored. So number one, one of the things that I like to do during lockdown, because I've got the whole entire day, I've got every day basically, is whatever it is you're interested in, in general, whether it's a certain type of subject, why don't you try reading books on it? That's what I'm trying to do just now. Especially because I'm making this channel, I usually think the more knowledge I can have on a particular subject, then I can add that into videos in the future. It's one thing to know about a particular thing, in order to talk to your mates about it, and you know, just in general. But then you can actually try and learn and dissect every bit of information, so that when it comes to actually explaining certain things, and in my case, where uh, we're making the videos, I can put my information out there. Whether it's reading books or watching documentaries, I count the both of them as the same kind of thing. Sometimes you can find a documentary that highlights the main key points for which reading a whole book that could take you up to a week could offer. So number two would be saving up. I'm lucky enough to be in a position where I'm getting furloughed. So a lot of the time when I get paid each week, and there's nowhere, there's nowhere you can distract yourself when it comes to going out anywhere. I know places are starting to open up more now. I mean, near enough everywhere's open now. But at the time, it was like saving up as much as I could. Luckily enough, I was paid weekly. So most of that money, at least a big chunk of that, would just go into the savings. But obviously when it comes to, you can buy your takeaways and stuff like that now, but a lot of the time it would be drinking at the weekend and buying tobacco and things like that. So I can see where the money would go that way. But we would still try and make that a weekly thing, if sometimes every fortnight even. So saving up, because you, you want to be able to come out of lockdown where you've gained something at least. If, if nothing else, at least you've got some money saved up. And the way I see it is if you can't go on holiday right now, then think of the amount of money you can save up for when you can go on holiday, whether it's next year, some people might not want to do it this year at all. They want to just wait until it's completely safe in their opinion. So why saving up was something that I was doing, like just putting near enough everything I get like, in that bank. Exercise is another one. I was used to going to the gym every day before my work because I start at one o'clock in the afternoon so it would be like I'd be at the gym by about, I don't know, half ten, eleven up to maybe quarter to twelve so that I could my catch the train in order to get there for one. But I've noticed that I had dumbbells back at my uncle's house so I, I, took a, I took a train back at the time and just tried to carry all these weights back, the 30 kilogram of weights. So because I've got these two dumbbells I've found that I can near enough get anything done, like whether it's my bench press and all that kind of stuff. Things that I start to realise now that I, I maybe don't need to go to the gym as much because when I was going to the gym I was trying to do reverse pyramid training, whether it's strength training, like sets of four, sets of three, sets of two, like really kind of low reps with heavy weight type stuff. Whereas in the house I just started giving myself wee uh, challenges, whether it's so the weight might not be heavy enough in order for you to get you know, strength sets in, whether it's sets of six, because the weight, maybe the weight isn't heavy enough, so I would just start saying, well if I can do sets of 15 etc, or sets of 12 or 20 even, I will just give myself lower rest periods, so I would give myself maybe 30 seconds to a minute rest, so using progressive overload in a new way that I hadn't really done in the past. I also started doing challenges, like I think it was like a celebrity challenge thing i seen somebody doing, I think it was like, I can't remember, it's a guy for Spider-Man, like Tom Holland or somebody like that, and it's like you basically try and do a handstand against the wall and then put your t-shirt on whilst in that position. So I was giving myself few challenges and you know working towards that. Not that there's a great end result for it, but it makes you feel like you've accomplished something and whilst you're exercising it makes you feel good. It's just keeping your body fit really instead of just falling into that whole couch potato thing. Your body is releasing endorphins, which is making you feel good. Same way as meditation with dopamine and things like that and serotonin. So doing these things, whether or not you're into exercise in general, even just doing something like press-ups, sit-ups, just something to keep the heart going, and you'll start to recognise it. You start to just feel better in general. Another experiment I tried, did, uh, I tried, did. another experiment I tried was uh, practicing the 
intermittent fasting where you basically you have a certain window where you can eat whatever you want really. I don't know the whole science about it yet but just for the sake of explaining this particular thing. So I would give myself like four hours to eat whatever it is I want and I would also within the four hours try and eat just like things like veg and protein and still not eat as much carbs, try to fill myself up mainly with veg. Now I'm skinny enough as it is but I was just wanting to experiment with it and see what actually happens. So in my case, sometimes I would go for, at the very least, 18 hours where I don't eat. And then the, the following six hours is when you can eat what you want. And then you stop and then you can't eat until a certain point again the next day. But sometimes it would jump up to 22 and 23 hours and I would just have black coffee with no sugar. And that seemed to prolong the hunger. Like, I, I got to a point where I started to realise when I actually was genuinely hungry, or I was just thinking that I was hungry because you're just, you th you're like, oh, I think I could have something nice to eat right now. And then you've got that tasting, you're thinking of that taste, and you're like, oh, I'm just going to go make something to eat. You start recognising when you're actually hungry compared to when you when you genuinely actually need something to eat, other than just thinking that you're hungry. I started to notice as well, it didn't really affect my workouts. I mean, it was a bit weird because I'd be working out at about, I don't know, say about two o'clock. I didn't want to work out too late. So I would work out maybe about 2 o'clock to about 3, sometimes even shorter than that because of the lower rest periods and try to kind of a get on the go with it. But then after the workout, it was like I would still not be eating until like about 5, you know, 5 hours later or like 4, you know, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours later. And a lot of people say you need to, there's a window, a gap where you have to consume protein or something like that, but I've never really stuck by that and it's, it's always, I've never seen any loss because of it. Another thing that I have to mention here, because it's kind of what my channel would be mainly about, is that meditation and present moment awareness. So naturally when I find myself so-called bored, and I've not got in today, I don't look at it as being bored, I've just run out of things that I'm particularly interested in doing at that specific time. Whether it's I'm not in the mood to read anymore, I'm not in the mood to watch YouTube videos or documentaries or watch films or play the computer. That tends to be the, the, the point where I recognise, well this is the time to meditate, unless I'm, I'm knackered, then it's the time to go for a nap. <laughs> but that would be the time where I would sit down, and not even necessarily sit with my eyes shut and do your, your typical meditation. I would just sit and look about the room, because again, thinking that you're bored, that's you thinking, you're making yourself bored by thinking about it, it's a thought form. So I would just sit and just look about, look at things in detail, feel my breath, feel my feet on the flare and every time thoughts come back into my head I would just go back to putting my awareness on just focusing on being in the moment and that's a buzz in itself it's quite it's quite trippy if anything but like that's just enjoyable and with that again again it just makes you feel better you naturally start to feel more creative whether that's just in order to feel more creative in order to sit back down and watch telly but it's better that than sitting about thinking I'm bored and I'm disappointed myself because as human beings we want to we tend to be goal orientated where if we're not moving forward in life we tend to just fall into this limbo state of you're doing nothing and then you start to feel bad because of that and you start to feel worthless etc etc so because I was saving up as well I managed to actually buy something that I've been saying I would be doing for a long time I managed to buy myself a PlayStation 4 so then when it comes to playing online with your mates, that's another thing you can do, but some people, for example, watching this might be gamers and they're loving lockdown because it's like that's the, that's like their calling, you know what I mean, they're, they've been planning for this all their life. But I just having games to sit down and play in there again, I just classify that as the kind of entertainment side that I, you know, I look forward to, but I don't try to burn myself out with just constantly watching things or the telly because you can get sick of that. It's good to have other things that I've mentioned before, like whether it's reading, exercise, meditation, etc. Another thing would be I would for example, with this channel, I would be planning things to, like videos to make, instead of just learning about things to talk about, you know, or sorry, just learning about the things that I plan on talking about, I would be trying to come up with what ways I would film, what kind of stuff would I be talking about, so that I can then go and learn about the stuff. Usually it's things, again, that you're obviously interested in, I'm not going to go and learn about something that I have no clue about and I'm not interested in just to make a video. But there's so many things within the stuff that I like learning about. So I plan in the channel it and give me something to do during lockdown, it's like, it's, like, it's like a kind of hobby, it forces me into a position to learn so that I can put stuff out there and whether or not anybody watches it and enjoys it, but I just gives me something to do, it's like a new hobby now, instead of just like meditation, lucid dreaming, stuff like that, going out and seeing your pals, but now making the videos, that seems to be, that's like a new hobby I mean.
So as I was saying before, like when it comes to watching films, you don't want to burn yourself out. Obviously, set aside a time for doing that. So usually me and Kareem, for example, we would we would watch it mail, mail at night, like during the day we do rain things. But you look forward to watching a film. Because it's like anything, you do too much anything, you eat too much anything, it tends to be bad for you. Or if you watch too much anything, it tends to be, you get bored of it quite quickly. It could be the best five films in the world you're watching, but then you're like, you get restless and you want to do something else. So set aside a time for whether it's playing your computer, watching films, or any kind of entertainment that you enjoy. An important thing I was doing was trying to get my sleeping routine back into check because Sometimes you can just genuinely feel crap when you don't sleep properly. Sometimes you might be doing all the things that you feel you're supposed to do, like exercise and things that are getting you going. Uh, but then every morning you wake up because you're not getting a good sleep and you just feel that kind of worthless way. You just you don't feel the best, you're, you're not motivated for anything. You just feel, again, you slip into that mental thought where you're like, oh, I'm just, I'm bored again. And, but I'm bored, but I can't be bothered doing anything. So that's why when I, when I talk about the meditation and stuff, it tends to just almost flip your mind around and make you want to be interested in things and whatever that is for you, I don't know, but it tends to work for me. Because to be honest with you, right now I'm in a, I'm in a terrible sleep routine right now. I mean, yesterday I was up to like, well sorry, this morning, four o'clock in the morning. But even when I'm up to four in the morning, I don't just go to sleep and allow myself to, because naturally you'll tend to wake up at two o'clock in the afternoon. Because it's like your body clock never seems to adjust to the kind of hours. At least mine doesn't anyway. So if I fall asleep at four o'clock, I'll always try and set my alarm for about seven to eight hours later. And you wake up exhausted because your body's like, oh, I try to go back to sleep. But after, a, after about half an hour, you start to feel better again. I like to wake up early. It makes me feel like I can get me a done during the day. I don't really like the feeling I have when I wake up during the, like, in the afternoon. Again, it just makes me feel that horrible, you kind know. Of like. During the lockdown as well, I've been trying to figure out, or trying to learn more music. Like, music that I'm already interested in. You, you could have bands that you go, I really like this song, I, I like that song. But then you never take the time to actually look up their albums. I try and, I try and, I do this thing where whether I'm working out and it's on in the background, I'll try and put albums on that I've never heard before, in a certain type of genre that I tend to like listening to. And within that, every now and again, I'll hear a song, find out what the song is, write it down, make it onto a playlist, and just try and kind of find out new music, you know what I mean? Because there's so many music, there's so much music out there that there's just that, I mean, you're, no, you're never going to have time. But what I tend to do is it sounds a bit weird and cheap doing this, but it's almost disrespectful to the artist. But I'll scan through an album, and then when it comes to a certain bit that I like the sound of, I'll be like, ah, what's that one called? So it's like I'm quickly trying to find out all these new songs. Same way as when it comes to films, I'll look up films that I can search later on when it comes to having like a movie night or whatever, when you're having your takeaways, whatever it is. See, although you're stuck in the house and you find it boring or it's causing you anxiety, but that's where you become your own worst enemy. You let yourself become bored because you're not necessarily trying to find anything else to do. Like again, as I was saying, let's set yourself challenges. Whether they challenges are cleaning the house or something, do you know what I mean? I mean, phone somebody, see the message on somebody, actually phone them, how are they getting on? Talk to some, talk to a human being. <laughs> again, force yourself into doing things that know that you don't like, because that just makes no sense. But if it's things that you've not tried before, try and just make time to get a go. You know what I mean? You're doing something different. Your brain's doing something that it's no use to. If it constantly falls into the same patterns, but it's repeating the same things there and there again, it's going to naturally get bored. So so try something different. Things that you might already be interested in that you just don't know. And then there's a, another aspect to it where it requires some kind of learning and can lead to some kind of growth for yourself. It's weird because you always get these people that say, I can't wait to start back work and there's nothing wrong with that, like, I, I can't wait to start back work, it's so annoying, I just wish it could go back to work. I'm quite different that way because I'd rather have the free time to myself because again I don't see it as being bored, I see that as time to work on myself. For example the people that say I can't wait to start, I can't wait to be back at work, that's usually the same people that when they're actually back at work they're saying oh I wish I could just have a year off, I wish I could just sit about the house and get paid for it. Well technically that's happening. Although you can't really go out on your spare time and enjoy it fully and go to places and stuff like that, but use your spare time to do the things that are, give yourself a head start in life for the things that you want to learn. Because when you're at a job, depending on your job, not everybody's the same obviously, but for people that are in a job where they don't necessarily care about the job other than the fact that it gives them money to enjoy when they're not in the job. So use this time to learn things and give yourself a head start as I was saying. Like, use that as, this, this is a, a a brilliant time if anything, you're getting paid, a, a lot of you anyway, you're getting paid to sit about, so to speak. Try and learn something in between that. What is it you want to do? What is it you look forward to doing when you know? 
when you're not, like at work. It's funny because I remember I, I used to say this to people all the time, like, it'd be amazing to just get paid what you get for this job, but when you're sitting in the house and you don't actually need to go anywhere, because then you can work towards getting something different. Now, it's as if I'm in heaven right enough, <laughs> right now because it's actually happening. Don't get me wrong, some bad things that have actually, and some things that have panicked me during lockdown, some th kind of serious things were going on, and, uh, but they all worked out fine, and mostly fine, and uh, so again, in case that, that sounds disrespectful to people out there, but you get my point. So I just find something for yourself today. Just create a so-called job. People that say, aye, but I wish I was at work and I wish I was just out doing something. Well, create that in your house. What, is there a certain room that has to be cleaned? Is there places behind cabinets and dusty areas? Why don't you just do things like that? One day, you, on one particular day, you set a goal for yourself, I'm going to wake up and try this new thing, whatever that new thing is, and then later on I'm going to clean the kitchen. Then the moral day, the toilet, or do you know what I mean? Just give yourself something like that. Sometimes what I do is in between when I'm when I'm exercising, in between sets, or when I'm going you know, on a, a, a totally different working set, when I've maybe got about two or three minutes to spare, I'll just jump in, do something quickly, like clean. In other words, clean something quickly, maybe fill the dishes up with the hot water, then come back in, finish my workout, and then, then again going in. So then I'm learning about the music, new music. Um, I'm doing my, you know, my exercising, I'm getting some normal kind of housework stuff done. It's keeping my mind occupied and it feels that, see when you do go back to sitting on your ass, when you go back to sitting on your ass and watching telly or the kind of a normal entertainment things that we do, you feel that you've earned it. Do you know what I mean? You feel that you've actually earned it. Oh I and I forgot to mention, I don't know why I forgot this, but spending time with an enlightened being, that enlightened being, being the cat. Hello? 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 What a boy? What a boy? You're just so at one with everything, aren't you? Hello? Hello? He's too enlightened for this kind of stuff. So, so anyway, what kind of stuff have you been doing during lockdown? Are you having a good time? Is it a bad time? Let me know in the comments down below what you're doing to keep yourself busy. And again, feel free to like or dislike, all criticism is welcome here. And subscribe if you like the idea of where this channel is going to be heading in the future. And I'll be making a video, I'll be making a video, I think my next video, I actually thought this video was going to be about uh, meditation, but that's my next video I'm going to try, how at least I do it anyway and how it can a kind of a beginner's guide so to speak. So if you're up for learning how to do that then then I stick a bit. And again till next time, hope everything's gone well and uh, have a great day. Have a great month, week, year, whatever and if I'm never back on here again. Bye. See you later man.